Welcome back to the Dominion video series Tips and Tricks for Newbies and I like to talk about the first trap regarding action cards. I noticed that the first two to five games every player uh, tends to make the same mistake every the action cards are all new you like to try all these you like to try out how the cards are like, how they are best played. You can't estimate the impact on the game. You have to test it out. First of all, one tip. Every card can be a good or a bad one. There are cards which are more often good cards than others, but there's basically no card that is a must buy every time. Basically, expensive cards are better than cheap cards, but of course that does not mean to buy the most ex expensive card that you can buy this turn. Let's have a look at the issues that can occur in the first set that the base game proposes. I have 4 and buy a smithy. I have 3 and buy a workshop. I have 4 again, I try the remodel. Hmm, now I can either play a smithy or the workshop. Let's try the workshop. I gain a moat and for two coins I buy a seller. I have two coins again, I buy another moat. Hmm, I try the smithy and I draw a seller, copper and a remodel. I now have four action cards in my hand but can't play any of them. I can only uh, spend my free coppers to buy a card. You see now, you have to avoid that. You have to avoid situations where you uh, have to decide which action card you have to play now and which one you aren't going to play. These four cards in my hand now, these are dead in my hand. A uh, copper or or even in a state would be better because the state would give me one victory point in the end. How can you achieve that? First some background information. You have to be aware that a fictional card that would say plus one card plus one action doesn't do anything. Why? Let's say the market is this fictional card because it's similar to it. The mark says plus one card, plus one action and additionally plus one buy and one coin. So we play the market and draw a copper but still have five cards in our hand and you still have one action like in the beginning of the turn. If I've never bought that market I would have had that hand Either way, the card doesn't give you any benefit, but doesn't hurt in your deck. These cards are named cantrips. The market is one of these cantrips. It replaces itself and does this, gives you additional buy and a coin. The market is very rarely a bad buy, but you have to ask yourself if the market is worth the five coins it costs. In this context I like to mention another card from the base game, the laboratory. It simply says plus two cards plus one action. Like I said, plus one card, one action uh, replaces itself. It remains plus one card. So after playing a laboratory you have one card more in your hand, six cards or seven cards, eight cards, depending how many times you play laboratories. And that's of course really good to have more cards in your hand. So let's continue. Every card that has less than plus one card or more specifically less than plus one action, this buy has been well thought out. A card that has no plus one action is called terminal action. For example the militia you already know. Because after playing that card the action phase is immediately over. On the other hand the effect is usually stronger like the smithy that can immediately draw three cards but the action phase is immediately over. Still you should have a limited number of terminal action cards in your deck so that they do not collide like you've seen. Because you have five cards in hand per turn you don't want usually more than one terminal action card 
per five cards in your deck. Just a rough estimate. In the beginning, it's not more than two terminal action cards. But of course, there are cases where the terminal action card is so good that you want as many as possible. And then you should really consider buying so-called action givers, um, cards that give you two actions. These cards are also called villages because the simplest of these cards is called village and similar cards from expansions also have village in their name. So the village give you one card and two actions. One card and one action replaces itself. So this card does uh, give you nothing else but plus one action. There's another card in the base game that gives you plus two actions. It's called Festival and gives you plus one buy and plus two coins. So per additional terminal action you should buy at least one additional village. But still the risk increases having two terminal actions collide without village so you have really to consider if it's worth it. So you really have to keep an eye on terminal actions because there's nothing worse than having a hand of five smithies. So until next time, I really like to read your comments. Bye.